Good evening, everyone. My name is Omkar Thakur, and today we are going to present our mini project that is uh, automatic question paper generator. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, Divya, next slide. So, uh, giving an example is the difficult task, but what is more difficult is to create a question paper. Generating a question paper is more challenging and time consuming. So, in today's, uh, we are now uh, creating our papers uh, by making uh, manually. So, our project is to generate the question papers automatically. So today uh, our project is to make uh, or to implement the uh, PDF of automatic question paper generator. Uh, next slide. <clears throat> so this is our topic name, uh, project name, question paper generator. Okay, next. So this is our flowchart of our uh, automatic question paper generator in which there are some modules such as uh, first one is the register to register an a uh, teacher or a student uh, it has uh, some module just like uh, it should be given email name contact number and their user id and uh, password for uh, our question paper generator next one is login so uh, first time you want to register uh, itself and next time you want to log in so for it is a uh, everyone for just like uh, it is everyone for student and teacher so uh, every time you need to just log in and give your user id and password uh, so if you are a teacher then you should add a questions by making uh, by dividing your questions in uh, modules just like topic course name subject name and uh, main branch name so after uh, creating uh, uh, after uh, uploading your questions on our module it will create and automatically it will shuffle the questions and uh, according to the difficulty level it will uh, make some uh, uh, make some kind of paper uh, and it gives uh, at last it shows our paper so uh, at last it will uh, create the pdf and uh, give to the uh, it can be given to the students next slide So these are the modules. First one we created the database creation. Uh, second one is the registration to register a student or a teacher. Next one is the implementation of uh, our project. And uh, last one, it is a testing, uh, which we will see in the next video. Uh, next slide, please. So database creation. So we have created our database in the MySQL 5.5 version. So for uh, database, we need some questions. We need a uh, tables queries and according to which we created the data as semester branch course topic questions and uh, many one uh, just like difficulty level so by which we can uh, uh, teacher can give the difficulty level just like medium easy hard so by which we can uh, decide the question uh, question level of uh, paper uh, next slide So registration module. In the registration module, uh, there is one page in which it contains the first uh, user register itself. Uh, so first time you want to register yourself. So it is common for all, uh, like a teacher and a student. But for teacher, it will give the uh, additional benefits. Just like a teacher can edit the question paper teacher can make the question paper and give the pdf to the student so student can access from this module uh, so for registration module uh, it uh, takes the name email branch name and email uh, sorry phone number so uh, next time you want to just log in through your uh, user and password so next slide please okay so implementation module is discussed by uh, shivani please carry Hello everyone. Uh, 
So question paper is generated based on the type of exam and other modules such as branch module, semester module, course module, topic module and question modules. Next. So I'll consider about a uh, branch module. Uh, branch module is created to automate the existing manual system. Now we are considering the uh, question paper and we are creating it manually. So this project is create, created to uh, take it computerized. Uh, now, and then all branches will be managed by admin and teacher will be able to see branch list. Here we consider developer as an administrator. So uh, admin can uh, manage the branch, admin can edit or delete the branch, but teacher can see the changes but can't edit or delete. Next. Semester module. Uh, question paper is generated ac according to different semesters. Admin can manage the semester as I'm uh, as I have already told. Uh, administrator only do the uh, administrator can only do the changes. So administrator can uh, change the semester, edit and add the semester or delete the semester. Admin have access to all the courses. Admin can give questions and also save the same for particular semester. Uh, but teacher will be uh, shown courses based on the semester selected. A teacher can only select the semester and uh, that based on the semester, next questions. Next slide. Um, course module. So all courses will be managed by admin and teacher easily. Admin can manage the course. Uh, admin can uh, add or delete the course according to semester. Teacher can see the changes and select from the given courses. Next. Next. Uh, Divya, next slide. <clears throat> uh, actually, Divya is not in video. Uh, uh, Shivani, I will share the PPT. Okay. <clears throat> okay, start. Um, so uh, according to semester, then branches and then courses, topics are to be added based on uh, these all. Only admin can change the uh, topics, admin can add the new topic for a course and the user means the teachers can access the topics or select the topics from this. Next. <clears throat> now the teachers also can uh, add the question like an admin uh, questions have to be included based on the topics provided by the admin teachers can see the details of question paper only admin can update and edit the records as this is administrator end and uh, admin will be able to delete the records teachers can only add the questions and uh, select from the given database next So uh, implementation after logging in teacher will have three options, add question, create question paper and view the questions. Um, while adding the questions, admin already have the database. We have created uh, previously a database in which we have uh, already add the questions. But if teacher wanted to add the question, we have given the option for teacher to add the question. Then uh, in create question paper, a PDF format paper will be created in which question will be randomly selected as we have uh, done this in system that uh, uh, questions are selected randomly for the question paper then the generated question paper is converted into PDF format in view questions the state of questions already present in the database can be viewed based on uh, discuss modules admin can add the questions as well as teacher also can add the questions and from this, uh, uh, randomly questions are selected for the PDF. Next.
Omkar, can you explain this? Uh, okay. So next is use case diagrams. So user uh, here we shows the user access. So user can register itself for the first time. Uh, so next time it you uh, it should be login and from that uh, by uh, registering itself he uh, he want to use only username and password. So uh, next time it will be easy for accessing uh, for student and teachers also. So uh, according to this student can view the questions by selecting their uh, year, semester and course uh, and also the uh, difficulty levels were decided by the teacher. So adding a question is the task of teacher and it will be added according to uh, the teacher's, uh, teacher's pattern. So uh, teacher can decide the difficulty level as well as he, it, uh, he can decide the marks as well as he can create the question paper in the PDF format and send it to the student's account. So uh, for the next time, students can access the uh, PDF of question papers according to their need. So uh, we are going to next slide. So this is software development processing model. So our prototyping is just like we created the design and then we uh, implement the design and according to which we first uh, make the so take the parameters of our uh, project and according to which we can uh, we design our project so next we uh, create our code according to our design and to, uh, after that we test our code according to our uh, module access so it is uh, actually successful and next slide is testing so black box testing so no knowledge of internal program design or code requirement Please take next slide. Uh, Divya, can you explain? Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, Divya, I have shared the PPD. So we have seen what goes on. So now we will go to advantages. So the main advantage is that a wide portion of uh, coverage can be done by this uh, system because main, mainly the questions are provided in the database itself. The second thing is that there is no chance of paper leak since the paper is directly created through the system uh, itself and the random questions are there. The system provides an unbiased result. There is no such thing that the teacher has given a specific question which is easy one or which is difficult one. Uh, thus, the system excludes human efforts, save times and resources. Uh, it's just a the work of five minutes maximum to be, uh, create a question paper. Uh, no need of transporting papers through the fully security vans to the colleges. Since this is uh, present in PDF, we can directly send the PDF to the required person. So next up we have. Omkar, can you change the slide? So future scope. Currently, the system we have built had some uh, flaws, such as we can create the website or application afterwards, since now, uh, now it is based only on Java AWT. We can add more questions to the database. Uh, currently, uh, the number of questions present in the database are low, since we have uh, collected very few from the different students. Uh, thus, we can create a strong database in future. Uh, we can add objectives and create a quiz as well. For uh, for example, in ISCs we have quizzes. These quizzes can be also created using the same question paper generator as for the semester examination and directly mailing the paper created to the teacher. Current system creates the PDF only on the desktop or on the computer. Uh, but in future, we can create a system such that the paper created will be directly emailed to the teacher's email ID which is registered to the system. Okay. So we have reached to the end. Uh, so we know how this system is going to work. Uh, next up, we will upload the video of implementation. Thank you. Thank you.